This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I want to go over this article here by Pop Topic, who is very pro Johnny, and I guess they're speculating what would happen if Johnny did win the case and if everything went back to normal and the companies wanted him back. Now they hint towards the fact that there's some talk about that actually going on. I'm not so sure about that, but I like to hear them out because they are very pro Johnny. So they say Johnny Depp to make huge return in 2023. Insider says, Johnny Depp will reportedly make a huge return to the big screen in 2023 with highly anticipated blockbuster sequel, Could It Happen to Be Pirates of Caribbean? And obviously, Johnny has already made a statement on that, which we'll get into in a little bit. People are starting to talk about Johnny Depp again and in a very positive way. Hollywood producers and other agencies are reportedly excited to work with the actor again and are confident he will win his case against ex wife Amber Heard. And there's a lot to talk about, actually, about if Johnny should actually take contracts if he was offered them by people who let him go unjustly. Not only are the big studios like Warner Bros. finally starting to realize how much money they could potentially lose if they continuously back Amber Heard in her slanderous campaign against her beloved Hollywood actor husband. But now, they are very excited about the prospect of working with the 58-year-old actor again. I think they got a slight typo in here, but I'll fill it in. Not too long ago, mainstream media tried to convince us that Johnny Depp's career as an actor was over, and although the fear and loathing of Las Vegas actor, I think they meant, didn't make too many Hollywood films after being slandered by his compulsively lying ex-wife, he kept pushing the envelope for independent foreign cinema and starred in several critically acclaimed films, which is true, and he's doing great over there, which is, no matter what happens, a good thing. And here's where they get a little bit gossipy and rumorish. The word on the street is that several big studios have personally reached out to Johnny Depp and have apologized while expressing their interest in working with him again in the near future. Okay, let's stop right there, because I think there's two sides of the fence here, and I'm... <laughs> right in the middle. I mean, on one hand, as Johnny said, he never wants to work with them again. But on the other hand, I mean, they have the power to make it up to him. Okay? So if they say, hey, Johnny, work with us again. We'll give you the continuing salary you would have made if you continue with us. You know, let's just Go back to that point in time and make believe nothing ever happened. Well, I say, you know, no fucking way. It's not just about like, okay, come work with us again, Johnny. We made a mistake. What they have to do, I would think, is make it up to Johnny. They've got to make up his losses. If they actually say, you know what, Johnny? Wow, we were wrong. We really cost you millions of dollars. First, we're going to make that up to you. So, we're going to give you a bonus of $100 million, And then we'll pay you your salary for the movie role. Then, if they really are set on making it up, making up for all the shit they put him through, they are capable of doing that. And in that case, I think it's acceptable if he goes back. But like I said, if it's just, we'll take you back, Johnny, we were wrong. No. Uh, no way. Maybe that doesn't make total sense to some of you guys. But, you know, if you get my drift, it's not like a normal company where you're making 50000 a year and they just say, okay, you could come back now. It's not a normal circumstance. You know, a normal company can't necessarily always make it up to the people they mistreat. But Warner Bros. is a giant. So they could buy Johnny 10 mansions and shower him in whatever, and that would make up for the monetary loss of the five years he was out or something like that. Anyway, something I was speculating on, there is also the moral, you know, no fucking way, I'm just not doing it morally, you guys are now gonna have to pay the price of me not being in movies, so I, I just gotta say it's complicated for me. Alright, let's keep going, little rant in the middle there. Giant Depp will make a huge return to Hollywood cinema in 2023, he's already been in talks with a major studio to reprise one of his most famous roles of all time, our source told us. And they throw this in there, and obviously it's not related to what we're talking about, but I use those too because we want to showcase that Johnny's a good guy. We want to showcase the best of him, 
And when I see these pictures, they just don't look like it was just for a photo op or they were faked. It looks like he's really having a good time there. So I think this is like one of the greatest photo shoots of all time for an actor, I guess, on his caliber. You know, just my silly little opinion. Let's move on. The source could not disclose any more information, but rumors of Johnny Depp returning as Jack Sparrow for one final hurrah in Pots Caribbean have recently been making their rounds in the Hollywood Hills. A crew member for Fantastic Beasts 3 told us that, that everyone, including other cast members, were devastated when Warner Bros. asked Johnny Depp to resign. And, you know, that's very understandable, and I'm sure it's true. It's too much to ask that they resign along with him. I mean, I understand. It's their career, they're not involved, but that would have been nice. The atmosphere changed dramatically when we learned that Depp would not be returning to the set the crew member disclosed. I know it sounds dramatic, but the first day of filming without him really felt like a funeral. I think it felt that way because we, cast and crew, were given strict instructions not to talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Let's talk about the evidence. Wait a minute, we can't talk about that. Because there ain't no evidence that Johnny was an abuser. I mean, if you count Photoshop, I guess, you know. Sadly, it's unlikely that Depp would reprise his role as Gellert Grindenwald in Fantastic Beasts 4 and 5, even if the studio begged for him back, especially after the way they treated him through his high-profile legal battle with his abusive ex-partner. And it wouldn't make sense anyway. Because, like, Mads Mikkelsen is now Gellert. Which is kind of stupid anyway, because it's really breaking the immersion of being in that world and seeing two different actors like that play the role. It's like a total reset. So for Johnny to come back as it is disjointed. So the franchise is ruined. I'm not a fan, as you could tell. If you are a fan, that's cool. But um, looking from the outside, it looks like it's just really disjointed now and it's unsavable. Warner Bros. are showing signs of remorse for backing Amber Heard and are worried that their gamble in believing the manipulative actress will cost them dearly. Now, it wasn't all a gamble. This is my personal theory. You might have heard here before, but a lot of it had to do with playing Monopoly and drinking hot chocolate with Amber Heard until wee hours of the night. And that was a calculated decision by quite a few people in the business. I can't prove that independently, but, you know, when people hang out and play Monopoly drink hot chocolate, they get to know each other, talk about things, contracts, movies, things like that. Let's continue. The studio's marketing department received instructions to distance themselves from the Depp Heard drama as much as possible, and as a result, Amber has been almost entirely removed from all promotional material, including behind-the-scenes featurette and poster. Okay, that's good, but she's still in the freaking movie, Aquaman 2. And uh, I'm sure she's going to be on some posters and things like that. Maybe they cut her off a couple. But again, disclaimer, I'm not a big Aquaman fan. I haven't seen the first one. But I don't think Mera is the most interesting character anyway to cut. And honestly, you could probably cut her completely. And it won't matter because people just want to see Jason Momoa and Aquaman. So it's like cutting a useless character anyway. Again, if you're a fan... Of the character, not Amber Heard, not man. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. I find it to be pretty much uninteresting compared to Batman, Superman, the other ones, the other big ones like that. But that's really not the main point here, so let's move on. So here's the quote from Johnny. If they came to me with $300 million and a million applicas, nothing on this earth, on this earth, will get me to go back and work with Disney on Pirates of the Caribbean film, Johnny Depp. So the person says, no way, this article's fake. And, of course, once you hear inside source, unconfirmed, no names, nothing like that, yeah, it's a huge, giant grain of salt. But I think it's worth talking about, and it's still worth talking about positivity, because this could be a reality. This is not something that's, like, so far out there, it'll never happen. It's not ridiculous tabloid-level stuff. This is a situation where if Johnny does win and it's looking like he will, what's going to happen? All right, finally, done for now. If you don't subscribe here and you've thought about it and you still don't, well, I guess I'll be pretty sad. But I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. See you next time.